Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and it's time for another Breakfast with Blaha, and today I'm having a chicken, rice, vegetables, and guacamole. Alright. Let's talk a little bit about something I always find interesting. Um, and the reason I made this video, and again, it'll be weeks before it's up, that in one of the training groups that I'm in, one of the training groups I'm in, and I'm friends with the admins and the people who started it. And I actually did that charity deadlift event with one of the admins from that group. They were there. So, and, and I've known them for quite a while. So, you know, they came in this, this group and they wrote this great American novel. Why should I hire you as a coach? And they went down this whole list of, there are people who go to school to be strength coaches and they charge less than you. Like, we'll go hire them. I don't care. You know, and, and that's, that's the funny thing with this. You know, that a person is so emotionally invested in a YouTuber and coach, if they feel the need to track down and find groups they post in, which is just going to get them banned. Because, um, again, I'm friends with these people. It's going to get them banned just to make the case of why they don't want to hire me as a coach. And it's like, what's wrong with you? You know, why do people think that, that that's important? Uh, in other words, you don't like a certain coach, so you're going to go explain to them why they need to convince you to hire them. Well, I shouldn't need to. Either you follow my work, like what I do, and think I'm a competent coach, or you don't. Either you can afford me or you can't. It's that simple. And the funny thing is, no one cares about degrees. No one cares about your CSCS. It's irrelevant to strength coaching. Case in point, what is strength coaching? Are you getting people strong? Are you getting your athletes strong? That is what matters. Do you have the knowledge and experience? This is not a formal schooling thing. In fact, I know multiple coaches. I know multiple coaches technically younger and healthier than me, who are on steroids, who are weaker than me, they're smaller than me, they're fatter than me in some cases, while being serious lifters on anabolics themselves, and in their 20s or 30s, okay? So, how much is, is their degree in CSCS doing for them personally? Okay. People say, well, that's an anecdote. Maybe you've spent more time under the iron, maybe better genetics, whatever. Okay. Those are, those are fair points. Not that I don't think anyone thinks I'm genetically blessed. People think the opposite. But what about their clients? These are people I know. They see my clients. I can take their strongest client and I've had five, six, seven people stronger than anyone they have ever coached. But I've built to that point. Okay, so again, how useful is it? I'm going to say it's not. I'm going to say it's not useful at all. I'm going to say it does nothing. It's nice to have, completely irrelevant to your ability to coach or to program. Because they don't teach you that stuff. They don't teach you any of that. There's no formal schooling that's going to help you be a strength coach. Not directly. There might be useful background info. But I've taken anatomy and physiology in school. I've taken exercise science classes. I've read all the relevant studies, all the relevant literature also. So what? Kind of be relevant. fact of the matter is... I get people strong. That's what it comes down to. You know, and, and people will also go, well, you expect me to... I've seen this happen too with people. Like, Becca and I got into a, um, a Discord some time back. Chatting with guys, a fan started a Discord, then decided he was no longer a fan. And one of the guys, are, you expect me to believe that you just suddenly become a, a great coach? Or, it's like, no, I don't expect you to believe anything. I don't care because that's the point. 
for people who are not interested in my knowledge or coaching services, I, I have no interest in convincing you of anything. I don't expect you to believe anything. My business is fine without it. It's fine without it. People probably notice I don't open up slots to the public in a long time. Why, why do you think that is? If you guys seen me in what, maybe the last year, probably it's probably been a year or longer since I have made a post saying, hey, I have three slots open for coaching. I have five new slots open and made a video about it. Why do you think that is? Because I get enough applications year round already from people who are already interested, who know that I coach, who inquire. They see what my lifters do. Some of them I've accepted on my friends list, my private friends list occasionally, if they, if I, they get vetted. Um, and then they see what a bunch of my lifters do that the larger public doesn't see as much. And like, oh, like he is serious. Like this, he doesn't just have my clients. And I have plenty that you guys have all seen. Many of them are confirmed people. You guys see what a lot of my lifters are doing. It's out there. Right? It's there. Take it or leave it. it you know, it's, just, it's not a big deal to me. It really isn't. And I don't understand why so many people seem to think that I need to convince them of anything. I don't have to. You're free to believe what you want, brother. Um, I'm not interested in a hard sell on coaching. Like if I have to sell you my coaching services, you're going to be a terrible client. Like that person's going to be a pain in the ass to me. You know why? Because they don't already trust me as a coach. Like, and I'll tell that to anyone out there. I don't care who you're hiring a coach for. If the coach has to sell you on their coaching services, do not hire them. You know why? Because you don't trust in their ability. And if you don't trust in their ability, you're not going to listen. You're going to argue. You're going to fight. You're going to make things harder. You're going to be a difficult client and you're going to get less results. So what I would say to anyone out there, to anyone out there, if you're looking for a coach, hire a coach that you trust. The only thing to keep in mind, they may not have slots for you. They may not have slots for you. I had a client who hired me for six months. You know, and I hate to have lost him to someone else who I don't think is a better coach than me. But he was on a wait list for six months for coaching services from his favorite coach. I coached him for six months. He paid me for six months to coach him while he sat on that wait list. So just keep that in mind. Hire who, hire who you have confidence in. They may not have room for you. You may not get good coaching, though, because maybe they have too many clients. Or they may not have room. Hey, man, people who are being that successful, though, who they don't even have slots open, more power to them. But at the end of the day, a coach shouldn't have to sell you on their services. Either, either you think they're competent or you don't. And if you have any doubt, don't hire them. And that doesn't matter whether it's me or anyone else. Because you're going to be a terrible client for them if, if they do. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.